Welcome to the Armor Men's Health Hour with Dr. Mystery and Donna Lee. Hello and welcome to the Armor Men's Health Hour. I'm Dr. Mystery, your host here as always with my co-host and my partner in crime and practice manager, Donna Lee. That's right. I'm a brilliant and I'm here. You know, Donna, when we hired you away from Victory Medical Center <laughs> um, three or four years ago, we only had uh, two doctors. Mm -hmm. We had two offices and we were just a, a scrappy little practice out there on the plains. <laughs> and now we're, we're medium sized now. That's we're right. We're not large, but I, we're, we're there. And I attribute nothing to you. Oh, so, well, thank so, you. Uh, that's okay. Uh, you know what's Thanks, nice? Girl. You, you can't be, you can't be blamed for it. <laughs> that's true. If you it's can't give me credit, me. if you don't give me any credit, I don't get blamed for it. That, that's for you. <laughs> that's we right. are the second largest uh, urology practice in Austin, which means we do try a little harder and we're a little, a little cuter little on the weekend, week. pushing up our boobs, maybe. And a little lipstick. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe we'll say yes to that second. Drink. Continue. <laughs> Your last name, is it for real? Dr. Mystery? Dr. Mystery is, in fact, my real name. We had somebody claim it wasn't his real name. That's, they, they, they thought it was, uh, what were they using? They the said word? gimmicky. Gimmicky. You were gimmicky. You know what, sir? You can bite me, sir. No. Oh, I don't know. No, where he's, he's, he's a very good listener. <laughs> oh. Stop you, Donna. <laughs> Oops. Do not alienate our listeners. I'm sorry, sir. This is a men's health show. I'm a board certified <laughs> urologist, and uh, our practice is called NAU Urology Specialist. We see the wide variety of urologic procedures that you would expect us to see, like kidney stones and prostate cancer and uh, enlarged prostate problems. Uh, I'd like to think that we're very innovative, and really what we add to the, the ethosphere mm -hmm. is a more holistic approach. It's a big to, word. I don't know. I'm just making them up. Mm. No. So uh, it's like Ethernet? A more Sorry. a more a more holistic approach to urology. That's right. why we have nutrition, we have physical mm -hmm. therapy, Sex and I'd therapy. like to think we have just some cutting edge stuff. Mm -hmm. When it comes to maximizing care for men, mm -hmm. you know what I love? That they don't take care of themselves and they have to end up with you in surgery? No, oh. for myself. I love <laughs> convenience. You know, the doctor superpower is that I can call up somebody right mm -hmm. now. And he'll go, he'll see me t right now. Yeah. One right. Of my friends. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to be what everybody else has. <laughs> and so it, it's, it's rare that you can buy a superpower. Yeah, that's true. And so I'm going to talk to somebody that you can buy a superpower from <laughs> right now. Our special guest. Our special guest, John Kim. Thanks Doc a lot for joining us, Dr. John. Dr. Kim. Hey, thank you for having me. So He's Dr. got a good radio voice. That's right. So Dr. Kim, you're, you're a, uh, well. <laughs> you're a family practitioner. Is that right? That's correct. 23 years in Austin. And you're part of the practice at uh, Victory Medical Center. That's correct. And Victory is one of our really good friends, and you've been one of our partners for a number of years, and we really thank you for your support. And and you've had like a um, a, a transition in the type of practice you're doing, and uh, I thought we could talk, we, we have talked about on this show before, this concept of being in charge of your care. And that's that, that is such an important concept to me. And you need to read about what's going on with you, understand what treatments are available to you, and then make sure you pick your practitioner very carefully. And not everybody has that opportunity. And I think that the part of the program that you're a part of really helps. So uh, well, why don't you tell us about MDVIP? People that may have heard of it outside there. And you're an MDVIP provider. What does that mean? So MDVIP is a program that allows us to give better, more personalized care to our patients with an emphasis on preventive medicine. And uh, it's, it's like you said, first of all, in your care, it's important to have a strong patient-physician bond. It's important to have a provider you connect with that uh, that has a style that matches you. But beyond that, it's important for your provider to have the tools they need, to have the time to spend with you, uh, for you to have the access where you can reach them. And MDVIP started 20 years ago in Florida when uh, essentially there was a patient seeing their, their regular doctor waiting an hour, you know, came in, barely some, the doctor's rushing room to room, and he's saying, there's, there's got to be a better way. This is just ridiculous. And the doctor said, sorry, the, the current model, the way it's like, it's almost like a, you're on this treadmill just trying to run as fast as you can just to keep up. And it gets worse every year, right? Reimbursements go down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your employees want to get paid more for some reason. <laughs> we got to fix that. <laughs> Or else you just hire less experienced ones he that are pointed cheaper. At me. Every, every, you can't see it, but he pointed at me. Cheaper ones every year. <laughs> well, exactly. And so, so you're in that model. You know, you mentioned this idea of preventative care. I mean, it's uh, health care is really an oxymoron, right? I mean, you were really just doing sick care if you're just taking care of sick people. You're not taking care of healthy people. That's where preventative medicine uh, really plays an important role. Preventative medicine is so huge. I mean, there's so many diseases, just so much easier to fix if we take care of it early. And... and Especially, I like to remind my male patients that uh, you really need to emphasize your preventive medicine. A lot of guys I know don't never come to the doctor. I feel fine. Why well, have to come in? But that same guy will take religious care of his car. 
we'll change the oil <laughs> x thousands of miles right to the tires whatever oh, it's funny. important to maintain the car sir right? oh i never thought about that but who cares about my heart what a good exactly and, you know, on the other hand his wife for example won't take the car in because cars running fine wait, waits fifty thousand miles engine bursts on fire and what's the guy saying you, know, you gotta take your car do the maintenance and again you want to take care of your car to the maintenance before you get the yellow chick engine light hypertension before you get the red chick engine light with chest pain and there's so much we can do and changing an engine in a human is a lot it's harder a little tricky mm-hmm. i mean i have that friend like in his early 50s beautiful well taken care of porsche with beautiful wheels <laughs> and then he got a heart attack and had to, had to have like a quadruple bi- quadruple bypass yeah, that is true so, well and the other thing <laughs> guys don't realize there's so much we can do so, you know, I, I see guys get fatalistic. Oh, my dad had a heart attack at, you know, 60. My grandfather had one. I guess I'm next. No, no, no. That's right. <laughs> we have modern medicine. We can Not do something stopping. to fix this. Reversing disease. That's what's really exciting. There's so much preventive medicine, so many tools. But there's a doctor at the time, the, the tool to take care of it. And that's why I'm really glad I got into MDVIP is we have that time. I can spend our guys. We have the tests, the tools, and doing some cool stuff. I like the accessibility to the doctors that you have when you pay. So why don't you just give me just a, a global rundown of what a concierge or an MD VIP kind of practice looks like, how you enter it, and what you can get from in terms of services. So your regular traditional medicine practice, you got a doctor seeing 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 patients. You limit that. So my panels went shrank from 2,000 to 300 patients with a tire panel to more openings. Mm-hmm. So people say, oh, I couldn't get in for two weeks, went to two monitors, nurse practitioner, talked to do for five minutes and out of there. Now, same day, next day, I see you. We got a 30 minute slot. We can spend time up to an hour for physicals. Uh, I've got dudes where they're really complicated. I'll spend hour, multiple visits till I get them sorted. I, I'm going to come to you for an hour long physical. <laughs> we, really? And we Why'd you make stuff. everything dirty? I didn't say anything. <laughs> you I, did. I, I you made it dirty. An hour long physical. Dr. Dr. Kim is being very professional and you're making things it dirty. It costs extra for two fingers. He went Dr. there. Dr. Kim did that. He went there. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. wasn't me. <laughs> the idea that you can get into your doctor quickly, that he'll spend time with you, that's where you're able to talk about more than just the scratchy throat or your eyesight, right? I mean, now you can get into the more complex issues that are affecting you. Oh, of course. And it, it changes the visit. Cause it's so easy. I had a, a guy that uh, that joined, met me once, really wanted to continue following me, but told me, you know, I never come to the doctor. I'll never, I'll never use this. Fourth, fifth visit, he's telling me, you know what, I've seen you. I, I can't remember the last time I've done the doctor this often. Well, yeah, because it's different. You can get in immediately. You don't have to wait. It's easy. The staff knows you. It's it's a whole different visit. And now in COVID, you don't have to worry about being stuck in a full waiting room for an hour with all these other people. You're in. I think you're making a very good point, right? This idea of if you can, are able to, and are willing to pay a little bit extra to get personalized care, we're not talking about an insurmountable cost for you. How much does it cost to join MDVIP program? So it's 150 a month, comes out to like a extra coffee a day, but there's really cool benefits. Uh, you get my cell number. The cell thing's been surprisingly fun because uh, I've been uh, texting a lot of my patients and uh, <laughs> using creative use of GIFs. Oh, <laughs> how funny. That's been fun. So he's a fun doctor. You don't want to look at my phone. No. No, you don't. Hey, I've looked at it by accident. send me some things. Mm. You know, they try to send me stuff to you. No, 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 sir. You don't want to send me that picture. Let's do this on television. <laughs> <and secure. laughs> no, please, please, don't no. send me a picture. I want to <laughs> see it on video. <laughs> I have this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, really, no. really. So that seems really reasonable in price mm-hmm. to me. Every year, I really like to buy my parents a concierge medicine uh, subscription because that way I don't feel guilty about not helping them with their health. <laughs> the worst son ever. <laughs> and so if you're looking for a gift for your parents, oh, that's funny. Think about getting them a concierge. Oh, I'm practice. surprised you're taking new patients. You're you're always been you've always been so busy, but well, and that's again, it's allowed me to juice the panel. Mm-hmm. Again, you have this really uh, in-depth, involved coach I actually like doing. And uh, again, the relationship's different. I mean, I've really been amazed. I think some people would think that they're not sure where in their health spectrum going to a concierge or an MDVIP program would be. But there's a value in people who are on no meds. There are a value for people who are early in the disease process. But I think there's a, even a bigger value for those on multiple medications to try to keep them from getting on more and getting worse. Well, and, and not just that. I, I tell people that heart disease, you know, there's so much we can do to prevent. It's still our number one killer. 
cholesterol. But in patients who go to the emergency with a heart attack, 50% saw their doctor, had a normal cholesterol, your cholesterol is fine, had a heart attack, and oh, sorry, my bad, we need to give you more medicine, give more aspirin. What happened? There's more tests, there's more things we can do if your doctor has the time and the tools to take care of it. There's so much we can unlock here. Hmm. Well, that's wonderful. How do people make an appointment with you, and how do they get to your website? And I'm sure there's going to be some interested parties for that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, MDVIP is a really neat program. They're, number one, for information on the program in general, best thing is check the website at mdvip.com. By the way, VIP stands for Value and Prevention. Oh. Uh, also, uh, you can call if you want to set up a meeting greet just to meet me, see what I'm like, uh, you know, get a feel have, and talk to me about it. I'd be happy to talk to you. I'm here at Victory Medical at 512-462-3627. And again, at 512-462-3627, you're certainly welcome to call, set up a meet and greet with Dr. John Kim, and we can talk and you can hear me nerd out on medicine. <laughs> we'll put that on the Facebook right. page. Don, <laughs> awesome. I know we're over time here, but how do people get a hold of us? Well, you can Google us. Thank you. 512-238-0762. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you Dr. So Kim. Much. Thank you. Dr. Mystery wants to hear from you. Email questions to armormenshealth at gmail.com. We'll be right back with the Armor Men's Health Hour. 